All right, everybody, it's record time with Chris, episode 27, and the Record Store Day Black Friday list was just announced, so we can talk about some of the releases. Don't have the records in hand, of course. I'll still do the regular uh, uh, videos where I show the records a little later on when we get closer to Black Friday, but we can talk about some of this stuff and, you know, I'm excited. So let's jump right in. Now, remember last April, one of the titles that got the most discussion was something that some people thought was awesome and some people thought was ridiculous and it seemed like most people thought it was ridiculously awesome and it was the Africa-shaped picture disc by Toto. And well, look what we got here. Hold the Line Picture Disc. Again, another Toto single for you. And, uh, you know, a lot of fun for people who think that was fun. Something else to look forward to. The Silver Linings Playbook soundtrack album is this year's Mindful Vinyl release. You may remember the green vinyl that is being used to like uh, spread awareness and further the conversation about mental illness. Well, that's the whole mindful vinyl plan. So um, this soundtrack is being used to raise money for the JED Foundation. That's J-E-D, all caps. And they focus on um, emotional health and suicide prevention for teens and young adults. Now, the soundtrack itself, like I said, green vinyl. And if you've seen the movie, you know that mental illness is a big theme in the film. And you've got um, like Stevie Wonder, Eagles of Death Metal, Alabama Shakes, uh, one of those country tunes that Bob Dylan did with Johnny Cash, a bunch of other stuff. It's a Danny Elfman soundtrack, so there's a couple things by him in there. Um, interesting mix of music, and like I said, it's, it's being done for a really good reason. A record that I am personally super excited about, probably in terms of the one I want to listen to the most, is by The Free Design. And if you're not familiar with The Free Design, they were like a late 60s, early 70s sunshine pop group, two brothers and two sisters. This is their first album called Kites Are Fun. And if you know the song, you know what I'm talking about. Um, there are only 900 copies of that being released, by the way. So uh, if you're considering it, go for it. But I think the great news is that hopefully Light in the Attic is going to be uh, re-reissuing all of these. And this is just the, our first little taste of it because it's cool, cool stuff. Now, I saw people wondering about this. So, yeah, because the digital single's are already out. It's Wonderful Christmas Time, the old, you know, Paul McCartney song. Um, uh, this is a remake of it where he's got uh, Jimmy Fallon and the Roots on it with him. And uh, it's, it's kind of to remind us that uh, Holidays Rule Volume 2 will be out this uh, this uh, holiday season. And that's, you know, a bunch of Christmas songs. And that's uh, uh, like coordinated or whatever by Paul McCartney's production company. Uh, there are two versions of this 7-inch, though, that are going to be available. Uh, the green one has the Decemberists on the flip side, and the red one has a song by Nora Jones on the flip. So there you have it. Um, it was like announced and then pulled back earlier this year, Gorillas Humans. There was a uh, talk of a picture disc that kind of slipped out and then it disappeared. Well, there are gonna be 4,900 copies in the US of this picture disc. And it's, you know, the album on a picture disc. I think there've been some other variations on that that have been out there. So here's another one for you. Um, oh, speaking of something that has a lot of variations available, now I think about it, Ryan Adams, his last album, Prisoner, is also going to be available on cassette for uh, Black Friday. We also have uh, Bob Danger Mouse with Run the Jewels and Big Boy. And they're only making 2,000 of those. That sounds kind of low to me, uh, considering what uh, their fan bases are like. So keep your eyes out for that one. It's a good one. And I'm not even sure how, how big this is going to be. Um, 
band called Scream, and that's uh, the band that Dave Grohl joined. It's like a DC hardcore band that he joined um, for like their fourth album, and this is their fourth album. Um, the fourth album is called No More Censorship, uh, but he Dave remixed it, so that's called NMC17, and uh, yeah, you know, it's DC hardcore. Then the, the selling point is that uh, Dave Grohl was in it before he went uh, out to the West Coast to join Nirvana. And then one of the members of Scream also was in, I think, the first or second iteration of Foo Fighters. So that is that could be a good time for you. Let's see, what else? I got a nice big list here. <laughs> no kidding, huh? Um, Ingrid Michelson, Picture Disc. And there's a, a record of radio sessions by Fleet Foxes. Um, and, oh, yeah, here. This has a cool cover. I actually have this one. So, uh, Los Straight Jackets. Sing along with Los Straight Jackets. And uh, there you go. Um, if you look at the picture there, that's actually what they're like live. I saw them play in a hotel room once, uh, and it was amazing. They got the, uh, I remember uh, they were... The Big Sandy was was uh, singing. Anyhow, awesome, awesome. Uh, that's really good time. Um, there's a Flesh Tones album. Also, here's the picture of it. Here we are. That's cool. And uh, The Kills, their first EP, which is actually 15 years old. It's from 2002. The first EP is being reissued. There are two Willie Nelson titles coming out. Keep your eyes out for those. Uh, Chet Atkins, Seven Inch. It's also a Graham Parsons record, and uh, a couple of Waylon Jennings releases also. So uh, the first one is uh, they're actually from the same same kind. Uh, so Shooter Jennings, who's a you know an artist in his own right, uh, he's Waylon's son. He found a cassette tape just labeled "New Stuff," and it turns out that those are a bunch of songs that Waylon was working on. I think they're just acoustic and vocal demos, but uh, uh, Shooter cleaned those up, got them released. That's this, uh, that's coming out on, uh, you know, like a full album. And there's also a 12 inch that was done around the same time. These are five different versions of a song that Waylon Jennings did in tribute to Muhammad Ali. So that was right around the time Ali died. The number of hip hop releases seems to be increasing every year, and we've got some pretty cool stuff to talk about right now. Um, one of the significant ones is DMC 12 inch. That's DMC from Run DMC. Uh, it's a 12 inch with four new songs, uh, good guest stars. I forget who they are though. Um, and there are 4,000 copies of those for the US, so that people are expecting that to be pretty big. Got a reissue of Kid Cudi's um, Passion Pain and Demon Slaying. There's also a reissue of Notorious B.I.G. Hypnotize, and that's on black and orange vinyl. We also have this, a reissue Christmas on Death Row uh, from a little while ago. Uh, Jay Dilla, always have some uh, archival stuff from him, and this time we've got two different ones, one on uh, the green vinyl here, and you can see there's a purple version, and those like cameo silhouettes there, those are his daughters, and of course some of the money from this goes to, you know, goes to support them. Prodigy, two different, uh, two different uh, releases. We've got the, uh, uh, the HNIC album, and here's the back cover of it, you can kind of, it's kind of small, but you can see that, and there's also a picture disc right here. So that is pretty cool. And Insane Clown Posse, if you want to lump them in with hip hop, I think it's okay. Maybe Great Milenko. And uh, it's 20th anniversary of this. There are 2,700 copies, but they're split up between the green and the red. Keep your eyes open for those. And I don't have pictures of them, but there's a, a Lil John and the East Side Boys, Kings of the Crunk. That's a double record, 1,500 copies of that. And Twisted, uh, again, psychopathic uh, family there. And this is Ain't Been Right, backed with the sad Christmas song. 
and that's got uh, <laughs> they got uh, Blaze Your Dead Homie on it, and those are hand numbered, and there are only 500 of those. Um, seems like we've had a couple different releases from Twisted over the last, not just Record Store Day, but just in general. Um, and 500, those seem to go pretty quickly, as you can guess. So, uh, you know, watch out for that if you're a fan. Got some cool soundtracks. I talked about the Silver Linings Playbook one before on the green vinyl, raising money for the Jed Foundation. But there's also the Forbidden Zone, Forbidden Zone soundtrack and that's um like the first thing danny elfman ever got to record when he was in oingo boingo when they had some crazy name like the and i was saying oingo boingo had a crazy name but, but yeah but crazier than oingo boingo they're like called the knights of oingo boingo or something like that but this is their very first release the for soundtrack to forbidden zone and that's on translucent green vinyl uh, there's also Guardians of the Galaxy picture disc. This is Groot, and I seem to recall that the list price is pretty high on that, but, you know, Disney. Um, there's a Skyrim 2 LP set. Uh, so, um, yeah, I think there's a 5 LP box set that's coming out um, sometime this fall. And so if that's a little too much for you, maybe the 2 LPs on Black Friday would be the way to go. And also related to the movie singles, there is um, – so there's a band called Poncier or Poncier. I don't know. I can't even remember. It's been so long. But they uh, uh, there's a cassette in the movie. So I guess Chris Cornell – took the cassette home or something. The prop had four different song titles on it. So he wrote songs to go with those uh, song titles. And these are the original versions that he did. Um, some of those were kind of, uh, uh, you know, reworked into future Soundgarden songs. So that's cassette. They're actually releasing it as a cassette. And for those of you who don't want that, there is uh, going to be vinyl as well. So look for that look for that we also on the more hippie side of things there is the jerry garcia howard wales uh album side trips volume one that's live stuff from 1970 and also um i think i might even have a picture of it here well let's find out yes oh geez it's right here yes there's a five lp grateful dead box set and that is four live albums like Wake of the Flood, um, the ones from around there, Steal Your Face is one of them. And so uh, this one comes in a slipcase. That's all we know about it. And uh, you know, their stuff is always really well done. So you'll like that. Also, um, Umphreys McGee, they got it like a buzzsaw shaped record. Um, and it's been described to me both as an actual die cut record in the shape of a buzzsaw, but, but then I also saw something that it was just going to be a picture disc with the image of a, like a buzzsaw blade on it. Um, and I saw like a really small mock-up of it that won't look good here, but it's, it's cool looking. Keep your eyes out for that. I think you will enjoy it. If you listen to the Vinyl Emergency podcast, you already know about this, but they are raising money to help musicians who have been affected by all the hurricanes this year. It's uh, through Music Cares. So if you go to Vinyl Emergency backslash donate, you'll find out how to enter Vinyl Emergency's contest. But basically, you make a donation to Music Cares, you let Vinyl Emergency know about it, and they're going to enter you into win one of 10 boxes of records. And the records were donated by just distribution companies like WIA, which is the Warner Music Group's distribution arm. You got labels in there like um, Bar Sook and Third Man, Fat Possum. Uh, you got artists in there. Um, Matthew Sweet, for example, donated some stuff. You got stores. Criminal Records sent some stuff in. We sent some stuff in. Um, you got... Uh, Run Out Groove, which is a label sort of cool, interesting thing. And there's some other people on there who I wasn't familiar with. But if you go to that website and, and you know, check out their logos, there's like people who do some really cool things with vinyl. I got, got a groove. There's a hysteric, hilarious like T-shirt company uh, makes great shirts. I saw so. Um, but yeah, 
if you make a donation, you know, this is just a nice little way that a lot of different people in the music industry are encouraging you to make a donation. And last I knew, uh, they had passed the thousand dollar mark and they're hoping to get up to $2,500 by the end of the year. So you still have time and chances are you were thinking about doing it anyway. So, hey, now's a good excuse. Well, if you've had a chance to look through the list, you probably noticed a few of the things that I noticed, which are that it's about the same number of releases as typically are in the Record Store Day Black Friday, between 150 and 200. There is more hip hop and metal than we sometimes see. And uh, there is are fewer releases by like newer bands, newer artists who are kind of up and coming in, in their careers just getting uh, started and uh, fewer than we would see in the spring. And the reason for that is just ref that's just a reflection of the release schedule in general. I think that just fewer bands like that have releases in the fall. I, I suspect it's because their labels don't want to have to compete with things like, um, you know, St. Vincent has a new album. She's the Record Store Day ambassador this year, by the way, or Beck or a couple of the other things that, I, that you'll hear about soon. Um, you know, it, it, so it's easier to give those newer artists the attention they deserve in the, uh, like January, February, or later, when, once the, um, uh, you know, the, the really huge artists' uh, releases are kind of just out of the way. Um, so it is easier though to do reissues and if you think back a few years ago, well, geez, I guess it's been 10, right? Um, a lot of the reissues were, used to be that I, it felt like the majority of the reissues were classic rock, and I might be misremembering, but that's how it, it seemed. And then we started seeing more soul, like, uh, like you know, 60s soul, like Otis Redding, start to creep in. And then we would get um, more like, I guess, classic 90s albums, like bands like The Sundays or um, Mike Watt, people like that. In fact, um, here's, a, here's a good example of one right now. Uh, this year we're seeing Tori Amos' first project, which was Why Can't Tori Read, as you can see there, assuming you can with a C, read. Um, this is, there are gonna be 3,500 CDs and 4,000 orange LPs. I don't think this has been available legitimately ever before. It's also uh, a repress of Mike Watt's album, uh, Contemplating the Engine Room. And if there was ever vinyl on that, you know, that's a mid-90s record, so there would have been a teeny amount. It'd be hard to come by, but I don't think it ever was. Um, ORG is releasing that, and there'll be 1,500 copies of that. Um, we've also got Chris Bell from... Big star. There's a six LP box set of his coming from Omnivore. And then we've also got uh, Big Star's third live, which was a concert put on recently by like other people celebrating that album. And the CD just came out. The, it'll be available on vinyl on Black Friday. Also, Richard Hell has uh, something, the uh, two, a two CD or two LP. So there's another one with CDs. Now, there's a bunch of all country type stuff as well. We have the Autumn Defense shown here, which is two members of Wilco. It's John and Pat. And uh, this is their second album, the first time that this has been available on vinyl. There's also a reissue of Sun Volt's album, Straightaways. And there's a 10 inch EP. Also by Sunvolt, this is newer stuff from like their current album. That one might be blue. I think it might be blue vinyl or uh, not sure. The minus five have something. There's a Tab Falco has a Christmas album on red vinyl. Um, I mentioned the Sundays, that's Static and Silence. 2000 copies of that on clear vinyl. Um, Lydia Lunch. And there's also uh, Dave Matthews Band right here, uh, sorry, just Dave Matthews solo with Tim Reynolds. There are 3,000 of these, so I don't think there'll be a big scramble for that like we sometimes have. There's an Isaac Hayes reissue campaign this fall. Uh, albums like, you know, Shaft, and there's a four CD box set of his. 
And uh, for, for Black Friday Record Store Day, his label, Kraft, who's handling all these, took the unreleased tracks from that box set and shrunk it down to a double album set that's called um, Spirit of Memphis. Jazz Dispensary is a series I always, I'm always looking forward to, though they pick really good like funk and soul jazz stuff. This one's called Moon Rocks and it's on like clear vinyl with um, hyperspace splatter. That'll be fun. I mentioned Otis Redding before and yeah, his Live in London album will be out. That's gonna be on red vinyl and it's the mono mix. Um, what else? Albert Eiler and Don Cherry, their album Vibrations, which some people call Ghosts because um, Ghost was an important track on there. Well, it's sort of two versions of it, kind of, whatever. Um, and that's coming from ORG. I think there are like 1,100 of those. So it's challenging music, uh, but it's, it's gonna be cool. Also, um, Bernie Worrell, who best known as the keyboard player from uh, Parliament and Funkadelic, but was also in the uh, Talking Heads. Um, he, this is an album of his from 1978 that has a lot of the P-Funk players like George Clinton and Bootsy Collins, Maceo Parker on there. Um, and uh, this is uh, orange vinyl, limited to 1500. Also got some whole bunch of sun related stuff here. So first one I'm going to give you here we show Sun Ra. This is called Exotica and this will be on CD and LP. Thousand copies of each one. Uh, Sun Ra's very first recording was um, he was playing piano for Winoni Harris and so there is a seven inch repress of uh, of that that i don't think has been available probably since the late 40s even and there are thousand of those also sonny clark sonny rollins uh, separately have releases there's a muddy waters release bernard purdy the bass session drummer has an album of new material that's coming out under his own name there are a thousand copies of that we've got leonard nimoy's album Mr. Spock's music from outer space coming. There's a uh, Frank Zappa, Lumpy Gravy version. This is the orchestral only edit that um, was on the, uh, previously you could get it on CD. There were the Lumpy Money compilation. Um, and this is on burgundy vinyl. And I think it's one of those um, 45 RPM cut uh, versions. So I think it's gonna have to be on two records. Um, Unreleased concert by comedian Bill Hicks. Don't know much about that, but what do you need to know? It's gonna be funny. All right, let's do the seven inch speed round. And you'll notice that there's a lot of new music on these. So, so uh, pay attention. Death from Above, 1979. Aretha Franklin, there are 3,700 copies of that. That's new stuff. There's this EP of recordings that are on Dan Auerbach's label, including a new song from him, old stuff from uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, or really just Greg Lake. This is the Christmas, you know, I Believe in Father Christmas, which you hear a lot on the radio pretty soon. Black Label Society, Charlatans, Petula Clark, that's a 10-inch, The Kills, I think I mentioned that before, Sparks. Toto, I definitely mentioned. Prodigy, I think I mentioned. The Birds, that's uh, Sundayist, I think. Live stuff from Eric Church. Um, there's also at the drive-in, 10-inch. Here's a bunch of new stuff. There are 1,750 copies of this for the U.S. And we've also got kind of, let's see, Queen and Rush and uh, this new stuff from Preservation Hall Jazz Band. The Doors, absolutely live. There'll be 4,800 copies of that on blue vinyl for the U.S. Also, um, Janis Joplin's Greatest Hits. This is, you know, my old copy from when I was a kid. And uh, there are 3,500 of these. And if you have been collecting for a while, you'll recognize that the green turns to blue if your spines are exposed to the sun. Uh, same thing happens. The yellow leaches out of the orange and turns it kind of pink. So just a warning for you uh, folks who maybe if you just started collecting, you can get disappointed like this um, when you store your records. Neil Young, 
5,000 copies of Harvest Moon. They're, they're going that many because it's never been available on vinyl before, and it's a wonderful album. The Raspberries Pop Art Live on uh, three colors vinyl, red, yellow, and blue. Omnivore is bringing us that. Um, and let's see, they got a lot of stuff, actually, if you think about it. And so does ORG, who are bringing us the, here's this garage rock, American garage rock compilation, all stuff from the 60s. The Shadows of Night is the only uh, band I recognize on here. I'm assuming that the free, oh no, Ognir and the Night people heard of them. Anyway, probably some pretty cool, weird stuff that I'm not too familiar with it. Many people guessed that this was coming just because uh, Brooke Vale released the Muddy Waters and Helen Wolf London sessions. So yes, you are correct that the Chuck Berry London sessions uh, album will be available from Brooke Vale. There are also two uh, seven inches with um, interesting lineups. The A side is Paul McCartney, Jimmy Fallon, and The Roots doing uh, wonderful Christmas time, and uh, this is to go along with. He's got a, uh, a compilation that uh, McCartney Productions Limited put together uh, called Holidays Rule. This is volume two of that. Will be out this fall, um, and there's a green one that has the Decemberists on the B side, and then there's a red version that has Nora Jones on the B side. So. You know, um, McCartney used to do that with his uh, CD singles back in the 90s where he'd have the same A-side and then a bunch of different stuff on the back. Um, no ubu jubu on this one, I don't think. Um, oh, and here's a surprise. Check this out. Utopia, right? Todd, and this is a different POV because this has demos from the album POV. Um, 12, that's a 12 inch blue vinyl. Um, the United States of America, kind of weird, weird stuff. Uh, also the Turtles 66. These are uh, 12 tracks from, well, 1966, obviously by the Turtles. Um, nine of these have never been issued in mono before. Okay, there are just a few more I wanna mention, but for those of you who only watch my stuff, uh, around record store day just should let you know you're used to having me actually show records I will be doing that uh, in November as the records start to arrive also just there's tons of other cool stuff coming out this fall so I'll do more episodes with those just neat stuff and a special thing for you Prague fans there should be a, a really cool in-depth look at um, something you're going to find pretty interesting. So hey, that's why you can subscribe to this thing. Let's finish this up though. So there's this compilation from Studio One. We've got Ziggy Marley, Ravi Shankar, a whole bunch of metal picture discs, which I'll have to show you when they come in. Venom, Anthrax, Creator, Clutch, probably more. Um, there's an interesting CD coming from Nuclear Blast. They released the vinyl last year. And uh, this is called the Depression Sessions. It's three of their artists each doing one original and one cover, and I think they're exclusive to this. Finally, there are two different records by Baroness. As you can guess from the covers, these are both connected to their album Purple. The A sides of each one has a uh, song right off the album. Album versions, B sides are live versions. And there's more, so check out the list on recordstoreday.com. And hey, hope you subscribe. But even if you don't, until you see me again, I hope you are listening to something awesome.